the amount of money a case may settle for may vary greatly depending upon the disease and its severity, medical expenses, monetary loss, personal circumstances and habits, and the strength of proofs, just to name a few of the major considerations. While every case is unique and it is always difficult to estimate what your particular costs and suffering are, we would still like to list some examples of settlements that juries have awarded. Less than a week after a Tyler, Texas jury awarded over $9 million to eight of their co-workers, a Dallas, Texas jury awarded $17 million to seven foundry workers who developed asbestosis as a result of their exposure to asbestos at the Tyler Pipe Foundry in Tyler, Texas. The jury found that the defendant, Swan Transportation, failed to provide a safe workplace to these gentlemen and that their hazardous work conditions resulted in the development of their asbestos-related diseases. Another man, age 47, developed malignant mesothelioma as a result of his exposure to asbestos as a construction worker. In 1987, the jury found defendant Kelly Moore Paint Company Incorporated, the manufacturer of Peco brand joint compound, liable to the man, his wife, and four children, and awarded them $55 million. In 2002, a gentleman developed asbestosis as a result of his 30-year career as a laborer at a copper smelter. The jury found defendant Quigley Corporation responsible for his asbestos-related disease and awarded him $3 million in compensatory damages and $15 million in punitive damages. On appeal, compensatory damages award was confirmed, but punitive damages award was reversed. And this is just a small number of the cases that have been brought to trial. As you can see, there is no easy way to estimate what your settlement is worth. The best thing to do is contact us to arrange a consultation by clicking on the contacts link.